Trump administration convened a conference in Warsaw, Poland, billed as a Middle East peace summit, which was largely aimed at drumming up support for U.S.-imposed sanctions on Iran. Foreign ministers from over 60 countries joined the talks, which were led by Vice President Mike Pence and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, along with President Trump's senior advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner. France and Germany, who fought the Trump administration's withdrawal from the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, declined to send foreign ministers to the conference. Ahead of the talks, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu boasted the conference was aimed at promoting war with Iran. This is Prime Minister Netanyahu speaking in a video posted on his official Twitter feed. What is important about this meeting, and this meeting is not in secret, because there are many of those, is that this is an open meeting with representatives of leading Arab countries that are sitting down together with Israel in order to advance the common interest of war with Iran. President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, spoke on the sidelines of the Warsaw summit, calling for the overthrow of Iran's government. During a speech at a rally of Iranian exiles known as the MEK, which was formerly on the U.S. terrorism watch list, Giuliani later admitted he was paid by the group to speak at their rally. This week marks the 40th anniversary of Iran's revolution, which toppled the U.S.-backed dictatorship. Meanwhile, The New York Times reports the Trump administration's ramped up a secret program aimed at sabotaging Iran's rockets and missiles, a program that may be behind recent failures by Iran's space agency to launch satellites into orbit. The New York Times cited unnamed Trump administration officials who said the U.S. has worked secretly for years to slip faulty parts and materials into Iran's aerospace supply chain.